Anyone here ever been in prison? <laughs> I, I, excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. I wish the Aussies would not answer, okay? All right, okay. Well, the reason I ask you that question is that I have this wheelchair was once a, a prison for me. It confined me. It kept me from going where I wanted to go, doing what I wanted to do. It was as effective as any bricks or bars. These short fingers, this unusual appearance was once a prison for me. I hid behind its walls. If you had looked at me, I would have looked away, afraid of the questions you might be asking with your eyes. Jobs, school, relationships, change. All have been prisons for me at one time or another in my life. But today, today this, this wheelchair has become a vehicle. It's transported me to places all around the world, places where some of you are from, Kunjane, for my South African friends, or how's it? Ohio gozaimasu, for my friends from Japan. And I speak Australian, for all you Aussies. <laughs> Good day, mate. <laughs> this wheelchair has even taken me, and I don't get all jealous and emotional about this, but this wheelchair has even taken me to Miami, Florida, <laughs> to be with winners like you. Today, this different appearance is but a thin veneer. It doesn't hide the, the remarkable gift, the incredible gift that lives inside each and every one of us. Could it be that there's anyone in this room who's never been in prison? And what David and Joanne and Amy and the whole team has done is invited me to come here to share a little bit with you about the power to tear down some of those prison walls have the power together that we all have to break out of some of those cells to use, to use some of the keys, some of the tools. Some of the keys, by the way, were offered to you yesterday in David's talk. He gave them to you. They're in your pockets right now. And there'll be a time when you find yourself in one of those prison cells in which maybe one of those keys will come in handy.